Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing with you all of the items that I am packing for myself and for baby number two before we go to the hospital. So I am going to share with you all of the items that I am packing and some of the reasons why I'm packing them, and then some of the items that I packed for having Tegan that I'm not going to be packing for baby number two. So if this is your first baby, or if you're just looking for more ideas, even if you've had a baby before, hopefully this gives you some inspiration on what to pack before you go to the hospital. So first and foremost, I wanted to show you the bag that I am using. It is just a large Vera Bradley bag, lots of space, side pocket. This is what I used when I had Tegan. Then I have my toiletry bag. So we'll go ahead and go through and I'll show you everything in this bag. So in this top pocket, I have deodorant. So then it has this pocket and I'll go through everything in this. So in my toiletry bag, I have a toothbrush, some toothpaste. I just am going to throw this into the toiletry bag. They're just new toothbrushes and toothpaste from the dentist so that I don't have to worry about that. Next, I have my face lotion. I also have a Norwex cloth. This is a face and body cloth from Norwex. Basically, you just get it wet and then you can rub this on your arms, on your face. You definitely feel way cleaner after that in case you don't want to shower. There will be a shower likely, at least at my hospital there is. I would check with your hospital just to see what kind of amenities you'll have and what they will provide for you. But my hospital, there is a shower, but with Tegan, I was so busy and we had so many visitors coming in, which I absolutely loved. But it also, I, I was tired, I was sore. I did not want to shower, which I know sounds disgusting. But honestly, just having some wipes at the time with Tegan, I didn't have the Norwex cloth. So I just used some wipes from Trader Joe's that I was able to just wipe down my arms and my face with. And then I also did wash my face while I was there, which made a huge difference. So I still am bringing face wash. I do have shampoo and conditioner packed. I just have these travel size from Target's little travel area that I do have that option if I do decide that I want to shower. I also have a travel size lotion. My hands get really dry, so I want to make sure that I have lotion like I normally do at home. Next, I have chapstick. Again, I just always have to have chapstick. It's kind of like the face lotion thing. Highly recommend having chapstick, and this is by far my favorite. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. It looks like a glue stick. It looks ridiculous. But honestly, it is the best chapstick. I never buy any other chapstick now. It used to be available at Bed Bath & Beyond. We now are Bed Bath & Beyond closed, so I don't know if they still have it, but they do have it on Amazon. So I would, hi I love this stuff. It's my absolute favorite. So I would highly recommend chapstick. I also have hair ties. You don't wanna be in the middle of labor and have your hair tie break. So definitely have some backup hair ties. I have contact solution and also my contacts packed. I'll definitely be wearing my glasses to the hospital. So that way I'll have the contacts and contact solution if I decide to wear those. I don't think I did with Tegan, but it's just probably a personal preference. Make sure you have at least your glasses and contacts if you need them. That is everything in my toiletry bag. So now we'll go into some clothes that I'm packing as well as some postpartum essentials that I wanted to bring with me. So next I wanted to share the different clothes that I'm going to be bringing with me. So my number one item is pajamas. So I have this cute little matching set of a button down pajama top and shorts. We're having baby to end of August, maybe beginning of September, depending on when he comes. So I packed, packed short sleeve jammies for him, long sleeve for Tegan because I had her in February. My number one thing is if you're nursing or if you're planning on nursing, thinking about it, whatever, to have a button front clothes because it'll make nursing those first few days so much easier. 
So I got these off Amazon. I thought they were so cute and they are extremely soft and comfortable. That's the other thing I would pack comfortable clothing, comfortable pajamas, comfortable clothing for going home because you are going to be sore. Definitely loose fitting, very comfortable clothes and pajamas. I've also seen people with robes. With Tegan, I had a matching robe and swaddle set for her. So robe for me, swaddle set for her. And I ended up not even wearing the robe. So that's something I'm not packing this time. If you absolutely love your robes, I would say that might be easier for you, better for you. Whatever you're going to be comfortable in, first day or two in the hospital, I would pack that. I also have a going home outfit. So I have a really comfortable nursing top. And I also have really comfortable and loose fitting shorts, as well as really comfortable leggings. These are maternity leggings. The other part with having Tegan that I didn't realize, and I think I did pack some maternity clothes, but you're not going to go back to your normal size right away. You're pretty much going to be pregnancy size when you come in and pregnancy size for the most part when you go out. So I would pack really comfortable maternity clothes for wearing home as well, because you just, you honestly don't feel that great. You're going to be sleep deprived from having a newborn and you're just gonna want comfortable clothes to go home in. Another item that I'm packing is a nursing top. These are great if you are planning on nursing, they will just unclip here and fold down so that there's easy access for baby to nurse because they are gonna nurse on demand at that point and it's going to be a lot. So I love these nursing tank tops. Even I've had these since having Tegan. So even during the winter, these are fantastic. Two postpartum items that I'm bringing. I cannot remember if my hospital provides these or not, but these were lifesavers with Tegan. So one is the Dermaplast. It's kind of like a numbing spray that you can put into a pad after giving birth because you're just you're going to be sore if you have a normal birth and this spray just really helps i think my hospital may supply this but i can't remember and it's such a lifesaver even after coming home that i went ahead and picked one of these up and then the other item is the freedom mom upside down peri bottle i know my hospital provides a peri bottle and that just kind of helps to keep you clean when you're sore from after giving birth. But the upside down bottle is something that I had on hand at home after having Tegan, but I didn't bring it with me to the hospital. The peri bottle that they provide is totally fine if this isn't something that you wanna buy. I totally understand. But honestly, with the design, it just makes cleaning so much easier. So this time I'm just gonna bring it to the hospital just to have it with me on hand and it'll really help with cleaning. The other two items I'm packing for myself are a hairbrush, definitely recommend. And then I'm also bringing a straightener. I'll be honest, I packed my straightener and some makeup for after Tegan and I didn't touch them. I left my hair in a messy bun on top of my head the whole time. So honestly, I don't think I'm going to use the straightener. I'm not even packing makeup this time. Makeup is something you might wanna consider if you might be having your newborn photos in the hospital. With Tegan, we did, but we didn't know when the photographer was coming in. So that was something that I just didn't know and I didn't have time to do my hair or my makeup or, any or anything like that. So that is something we're having a newborn photographer come to our house after the baby is born. And that way Tegan can be in the pictures as well. So don't foresee me putting on any makeup in the first day or two in the hospital. So I'm not even packing that this time. So the last item that I am packing for myself is a hospital snack bag. So I got this little bag from Amazon in my welcome box unboxing. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. But this is just a cute little bag full of snacks. So a snack bag is absolutely essential. You will be up most of the night, probably the whole time you're in the hospital. Even when you come home, you're going to. So having snacks on hand is a must for me. So I just pack some of my favorite snacks and I'll probably add a few items to this in the weeks leading up to going into the hospital. But for right now, I have some chocolate covered pretzels, some sesame sticks, dried apricots, some 
peanut date bars. So just something that I can easily eat. And then I also have some PB&J snack duos from Trader Joe's. So I just packed some snacks that are going to keep me satiated in the middle of the night if I need it when no one's allowed to come visit and bring food and stuff like that. When we had Tegan, my parents and my siblings brought us lunch and breakfast and stuff like that. And then I had the snack bag that honestly I overpacked for Tegan. <laughs> Probably overpacked this time too. It's just something that that I was so grateful to have with Tegan and then it's also really helpful when you get home if you don't have time to make a meal and you're hungry you can just grab from your hospital snack bag as well and then lastly I just wanted to go over the different items I am bringing for baby so the first item is a boppy pillow if you're planning on nursing the boppy pillow is great even if you're not planning on nursing you can put it around you or any of your visitors and it kind of helps you to hold the baby when your arms start getting tired and then it's also really helpful if you're nursing that's sort of the whole thing with the boppy pillow anyway it'll just help to support the baby as you're learning to nurse next i'm bringing a couple swaddles with me this is something that I didn't have for Tegan. I just had a swaddle blanket and I thought I had practiced a ton before having Tegan and I was just going to swaddle her like with a normal swaddle blanket. And I learned very quickly, I was very bad at swaddling and she just didn't sleep. And honestly, they might not sleep anyway, even if they're in this swaddle blanket. But the different three swaddle type blankets are way easier and it's going to be so much easier especially in the first couple days to get them into a velcro swaddle like this than it is a swaddle blanket unless you're just really good at swaddling again I just wasn't I thought I was going to be and I wasn't so that's something that I'll be bringing with me to help the first couple days the other items that I would say to make sure to pack, items that you want to take photos with in the hospital. So we have a sign and a swaddle blanket with his name on it. Just kind of keep those in mind. And then you're also going to want an outfit for them to wear at the hospital. I would pack a short sleeve and a long sleeve outfit just depending on when you're giving birth. And then their going home outfit. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas of what to pack in your hospital bag if you're expecting. If you are, congratulations. I am so glad you made it to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.